Well, my name is Glenn Katchmar. I'm an elementary school teacher and a self-proclaimed science nerd. I think I've been interested in science all my life. This year I've taken a leave of absence from teaching and I am writing a book called Science with Young Children, doing tutoring and science presentations and a variety of other things. Uh, my specialty is science, but I've also been working as a science performer for 23 years. But basically I'm an elementary school teacher with, uh, with a huge interest in science. I remember as a, as a 12 year old being intensely interested in science and understanding that that was a major interest for me. At that time I wanted to be a scientist when I grew up. The jury's still out on what I'll be when I grow up. But I, I probably was always interested, but I remember even as a 12 year old, I had some of the normal interests, playing soccer, um, water skiing, various things. But I remember also catching butterflies and using my mom's nail polish remover to put them to sleep. and. Um, making rockets in the backyard and various things like that. I'm basically a big kid and, and so a lot of times I like blowing things up, causing a ton of smoke, uh, bright lights and a combination of all of the above. Generally just really enjoy doing experiments and science activities and the, the excitement that I see in kids when they do these things. Mm. Understanding how things work and why, why things do what they do um, and that still interests me to this day is I'm not generally satisfied with um, simple answers or well that's just the way it is I, I always want to understand why and why and how well once again it is the how and why of our world science is literally the study of everything and if if you just accept well that's the way things are or um, for example, God made it that way. It stops your inquisitiveness. It stops you from seeking the truth. So science matters because we can make the world a better place. We can solve the problems we have and we can understand why things are the way they are and why animals do the things they do and we can, we can know more. Sadly, I did not have uh, a science teacher who influenced me. I, I had to discover it on my own. In fact, I specifically recall disliking the way science was taught. Ironically, most of my science teachers were rather uninspired and um, basically had us read sections of the textbook and answer questions on them, which led me to my own uh, occasionally dangerous uh, attempts at science at home. Sadly, a lot of science instruction is the most inspired stuff is a matter of watching a Bill Nye video and answering some questions. And I tend to do science. My, my students get out there and they, they do experiments and they, they do activities and they play games and they go to stations and they do real science and so they're very excited. <laughs>